Okay, so I got asked to make a video a few, by a few people, and uh, I'm just going to do a little short one right now um, about the digital coupons and the 2 for 10 or the 5 for 25 off. Now, the way the 2 for 10 and 5 off, and five off 25 work is, you know, you want to get your, and this is just for, you know, newbies out there, you want to get your total before coupons, before you use any coupons, digital paper, whatever, if you're using the 2 for 10, you want to get your total right at 10 or $11. Same thing with the 5 for 25, you want to get it at 25 or $26. It doesn't make sense to get your total before coupons to $17 and use a 10, 2 for 10. You know, it's not, you're trying, to, you're trying to get out the door with the least amount paid, right? So, um, I'm going to assume everybody's just using a digital 2 for 10 or a 5 for 25. The 2 for 10 comes along every once in a while. It's not a regular thing. The 5 for 25 is every Saturday. So, if you're using a 5 for 25 digital, that's great. Um, if you're using other digitals, if you're taking advantage of, like, gl of glitches, like using the Huggies coupons, you know, the the, um, the, the $3 off or $1.50 off or whatever it was, and using it on the dollar pack, that's great. But when you use the digital coupons, plan out your run, you know, um, just kind of do a loose estimate of the taxes to where you got, you know what you're getting before coupons is going to, you know, is going to be 10 or $11. Clip those coupons. Go up to the register. You hand in your most expensive item. For, your most expensive item first, down to the cheapest. Okay. Um, there's lots of little weird, people, little miss people have and things like that. But the way that the reason that you do that is, I find that the larger item gets more taken off of it due to the algorithms that the coupon, the digital coupon system uses. So those two dollars are going. More is going to come off that higher priced item than the the lesser priced item. Um, and a lot of times the digital coupons work better in that order. Um, I've been to Dollar Journal several times doing the same deal and done smallest to largest just to see what, you know, would happen and the totals are a little bit different. So, um, always want to make sure your total is right at $10. If you get enough, if you get items and it's like $9.98 or $9.99, that two for ten won't come off. Get you a pack of gum or something for twenty-five cents and put it in there, so it's over ten dollars. Um, as they're scanning, and don't digital coupons? Do I get asked all the time? You know, when do I hand, when do I hand my digital coupon in? And what do I, you don't hand anything? It's digital. They can't. Really, they can see it now, but ninety-nine percent of the time, no cashier is going to go. Well, you can't use that for that. You can't do that with that. As soon as he starts scanning, I put my phone number in and enter. And hit enter. Um, and it's just in the system. There's no special magical time to put in your digital coupon phone number. It's a digital coupon. The codes on the coupons attached to the items. I mean, it's not, I get asked all the time, you know, should I do it after the third item or when he's all done or after he hits total? It's a race for me. I put it in there when he, before he's done scanning. I ain't gonna worry about nothing. He hits the total and everything rolls out and, you know, $1.50 out the door, so. Um, it's just a little tip. I mean, you can also mix paper coupons and digital coupons. Um, if you have a five for 25 off paper coupon, like you get on the back of the receipt and you have some digital coupons that you're clipping, hand the five for 25 in first. Because if you use the digital coupons first and your total is at $25, it's gonna take all that money off and your five for 25 will not work because your total is less than $25. So make sure that you hand that paper coupon in first let him scan it so it's already affects your total and then put your number in for the digital coupons. That's only if you're using a five for 25 off paper coupon. So most of y'all probably already know all that, but I get asked those questions every day. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Thanks.